sometimes you get things wrong. Sometimes emotions get the better of you. And then there are other times where players start to prove you right. And I feel that way at this moment in time. I'm going to get onto the Manchester derby a little bit later, but I look at the situation with Marcus Rashford at Manchester United. A lot of us were quite happy for him to be a fairly sacrificial exit at the beginning of the season. But he's just won the Player of the Month award. That new deal that he, him and his family were angling for wasn't just given to him in the summer. And he's got his head down and he's worked hard. He's on the Player of the Month for September. He's starting to score and influence games again. Now, by no means does that mean we've got the very best version of Marcus Rashford. By no means does this mean that if over the next 12 to 18 months, if we develop or buy an out-and-out out number nine, and if Sancho and Anthony get to the height of their abilities, do I think that Rashford should just automatically start? But where I want to give Marcus Rashford some credit is the way he's turning things around, the way he's working hard. And I've seen it with the lower right back, torrid time. A lot of people didn't believe in him and he started to perform. He started to deliver. He started to show everybody why indeed Man United signed him in the first place. Rashford has seen Maguire be dropped, seen Luke Shaw get dropped, seen Cristiano Ronaldo get dropped. He's actually started games over the great Cristiano Ronaldo, one of the GOATs, one of the all-time greats, not just of football, of sport in general. And what I've been really impressed with has been his attitude towards this. Not a, an attitude of, well, I deserve this. I'm from the academy. This is what should happen. This is where, this, this is this is what I deserve. It's not blaming other people. It's I'm going to have to work my backside off to get into this team. Even harder to stay in it. And even then, if somebody better comes along, I could still be out. And the praise here goes to Eric Ten Hag. And I know one minute and 30, sorry, two minutes and 36 seconds into this, he's praising Rashford. Oh, of course he is. I'm not, per se. I'm praising Eric Ten Hag. The way he has got these Man United players working is excellent. The question now is, can he maintain this? The question now is, will he be allowed to maintain this? Can he keep improving the squad? And then if there is any insubordination, if there is any kickback, if there is anybody rocking the apple car, does he have the power, the autonomy, the control to manage that dressing room? These are the big cultural shifts that Man United fans cannot allow their mind to be deviated away from. There's no doubt. Speaking of deviations, make sure you download the One Football app, link in the description, or scan that beautiful looking QR code, QR code on the screen that you can see right about now. Get that done for us, my people. Whether or not Ten Hag can maintain this is another, is another big question. But my big rethink comes in about this weekend. We've now been told that Martial's training. We've now been told that Marcus Rashford is training. Man United have been, for the past two or three years, we, we almost have to ring fence the torrid time under the start. Last season, we had to ring fence it because last year was an anomaly with what I'm about to say. Man United have been a phenomenal counter-attack team for a long time now. Man United's ability to counter, Man United's ability to break teams down in, that, in, in, in the transition and beat teams, especially teams within the quote-unquote top six, is top class and has been for a while. There is the Haaland fear this weekend. There's the Jack Grealish. There's a KDB. There's a Phil Foden. There's a Mares. There are huge amounts of threats. Bernardo Silva. A huge amount of threats in this Manchester City team that can hurt you, dominate you, put you to bed. You think about Haaland. He could have a quiet game. Three touches in the whole match. None inside your box. But he could score a hat-trick in the last four minutes of a game. That's not even being hyperbolic. That's 110% straight facts. It truthfully is. 
but Man United are going to beat Manchester City this weekend. Man United are going to exploit the spaces they leave in behind. Man United are going to exploit the weakness within the Man United team this year. I believe that they, we, are going to do it. Marcus Rashford and Anthony Martial can play a part in this game. Starting, coming on from the bench, Manchester United have an exceptionally good opportunity to beat them. At the very least, I think we're going to walk away with a point. I do not believe that Manchester City will beat us. They can beat us. They're more. They're, they're capable of beating us four, five, six nil, but I don't believe they will. Not having the outlets, we can't beat them pound for pound. We can't beat them by trying to dominate the ball. We can't beat them by trying to be Manchester City. That can't happen. It won't happen. We, we, we don't have the facilities for that big man at this moment in time. We don't have that. But what we do have in abundance is speed on the counter. If Martial and Rashford are fit. Sancho and, and Anthony are no slouches, but they don't have that electric pace of Martial and Rashford. We need them in the team. You've got Alanga, of course, he doesn't have the same technical ability as everybody else. But now suddenly you've got speed, three speed demons. Two or three other attackers that have got some pace. Malassi is pretty quick. Delo's got some speed about him. Suddenly, you can have three, four, five, six players on the counter during the transition to run into those spaces to hurt them. You've got Christian Eriksen and Bruno Fernandes with their wonderful ability to play those deaf balls, those deaf pinpoint balls with accuracy into those danger areas. Now, I, for one, am not writing City off. And I know a lot of you in the comments, you already left your comments. You haven't got to six minutes and 50, 58, 59 seconds the seventh minute of this you haven't got to it you're already the cognitive dissonance is kicked in you're like no 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 i can't have this i can't have it i can't have it it's a prediction it's not to suggest that man united are better than man city because we're not we don't have a better manager we don't have a better squad we're nowhere near as well run a club but this is predicting the outcome of one game and i did not believe we could beat them without those players and they're now saying they are back and if those players are back Man United are walking away with the three points, in my opinion. I, I feel the centre-back pairing of Rafael Varane and Alessandro Martinez, Champions League Varane, the Rolls-Royce and the Butcher, are going to be enough to nullify large volumes of the attack from Man City. And as long as we can win that ball back to the three parties, be in that attacking phase, and hang on through the opening 20 minutes, because I believe the opening 20 minutes is going to be an absolute onslaught from Man City. If we can see the goal or two in that point, it's done, it's dusted, it's over, there's nothing we can do about it. So there's things we have to do to get to that point, but I truly believe Man United can do it. Do I think we're shooting for the top four? No. Do I think we're going to be in the title race? No. Do I think we're back? No. I have no thoughts like that at this moment in time. But can we beat Man City this weekend? Yes. With Rashford, Martial, ready to play. Can we beat them? Absolutely. Do I think we will? Yes. At the very least, we're walking away with a point from this game. It's going to be an epic weekend of derbies. It's my little rethink. We're going to be doing a few more of these videos moving forward. Little rethinks when things change. I want to know what you think. The best football community in the world, the football terrace. I want your thoughts and I want your feelings on this game. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the terrace. Make sure you download the OneFootball app now. Very important to us that you do that. We'll speak to you all again soon. Thank you.